on this illustration, I kind of wanted to uh, challenge myself and not use any frisket or masking material. So if you review the video, you can see that I just I, I sketched or rough sketched it on, and then from that point, just use the airbrushes. Um, I didn't even use any paint brushes for highlighting. I did go back, uh, obviously, with the pinstriping brush and finish up the background. Added some some uh, old school hot rod stripes. Hope you like it. Stay tuned for more. At the end of a a lot of the videos, I try to give a couple pointers on uh, how to for anyone who's out there practicing. When you see me pinstriping, you notice that I um, I use a piece of cardboard as a palette, and I'm constantly brushing the uh, striping brush back and forth. The reason for that is the mixture of the paint. The consistency of the paint is one of the most important uh, factors in doing lettering or pin striping. If it is sticking too much and the paint's not coming off of the brush, add a couple drops of thinner. And then if it's running or it's coming off the brush too thin, add a couple drops of paint. Of course, nothing is better than constant uh, practice, but that small pointer will, uh, will help you out when you're trying to do lettering or strapping. Rolling. Uh, on this painting, what's her name again? Tatiana. <laughs> uh, Tatiana Yalchenko. That's her name. Russian spy by day, uh, stripper at night. <laughs> oh my bad. I don't think she's a stripper. Dance, dancer, professional dancer. <laughs> we like to use the word entertainer. <laughs> Give me trade secrets. <laughs> Are you, clear? you can't spray paint worth of shit. <laughs>